Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ark. It is day two on the island. Um, I made it to level 31. I also got two levels last night. I'm going to go ahead and put one into health, one into stamina. Um, next level I'm going to put into weight so I can get up to 300. But uh, for now, let's, uh, let's see if there's anything I want to learn. Oh, two more levels there and I can get myself... The long neck and that's what I really want so uh, today's goals are very simple we're gonna go ahead and try and finish up this base uh, get it done and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that right now while I'm talking to you uh, save a little bit of time so I can get it uh, out of the way and then uh, we're gonna go around this island we're gonna find as much metal as we can we're gonna get it uh, smelting down in the smithy and uh, get ourselves nice and set up for um, moving to the northern part of the island, which is where we want to put our main main base. Uh, this is a, a nice starter main base. Uh, it's a good place to come back to when you want to come back for some resources, some simple simple items, or even picking up like a, another uh, dino that's a nice herbivore, such as like the Enkylo. Um, but uh, our goals for this island are basically metal, uh, getting uh, the long neck rifle, getting our, our bullets, getting set up and ready to go so that we can go up north and tame some better dinos, some like high end good dinos, um, Carnos, uh, Argentavis, and then go from there. Uh, with that said, let's get this done. So like I said, it's got another level there, and I went ahead and I put it into uh, weight. So now I'm up to 300, I believe, for weight, which is pretty much where I'm going to stop. Um, any more than that doesn't make any sense. Uh, you just start using dinos for anything more than that. So uh, everything else will start going into... Actually, I'm going to start putting into oxygen because there is quite a bit of uh, water on this map, and it's going to be... Uh, I'm going to need it uh, moving forward. Because uh, there's a bunch of underwater caves that I want to get to. There's actually one just off the coast of here that I want to get to. It's got crystal, it's got the note, and uh, it's uh, not that far from here. It's a really good, easy, early source as long as you have a fast water dino. So basically we're going to probably try and tame ourselves. Um, one of those little dolphin dinos. I'm not even going to attempt to try and say the name because I can never say it correctly. Um... Uh, most of us just call it an itchy, so we'll just go with that. Uh, and then, yeah, that's about it. So I just uh, learned a couple of things. I learned a metal sickle. Um, and I learned uh, uh, the wood trap door and the ladder so that I can uh, get onto the roof through the inside of the house. Uh, over here, there's a note. There's actually three notes on this island itself. There's one here. There's one up there somewhere, and then there's one over on that little island to the right of the island we're living on. All right, guys, so there's that little hut uh, three by four done on the inside here. So now we just got to do the roof part. Uh, I'm not too worried about that right now. I want to get myself a smithy and start getting myself some of these metal tools. It's one of my goals for today. Uh, on top of that, I want to start looking for some dinos. I want to look for a nice, uh, nice high level Tranodon. Anything over 100 is probably pretty good for this early stage. Uh, if I can get close to 150, I would take it, but uh, anything over 100 is fine. Um, and anything over 130 is what I'm looking for for an Ankylo. And uh, then I'm eventually going to start looking at Megalodons, but uh, for now I'm going to have to work on getting my metal tools because uh, you're not getting a Megalodon without a crossbow. 
and for that I need a smithy and I need some metal tools and uh, to collect a lot more metal um, well until I got an Enkylo and then metal will metal will be easy to get after one of them but uh, for now let's go and uh, find some of those metal nodes farm some metal melt it down make ourselves a smithy get ourselves some metal tools and uh, maybe uh, stock up on a little bit of hide a little bit of meat start making a bunch more narcotic and and start looking at the dinos that are here on the island okay now I know there's some metal nodes up here uh, Why are you lagging out so bad? Well, you know what? Let's go. Uh, let's go get this drop before it disappears. I'm not sure if I can get a level uh, or a blue one. I'm not sure if I'm at the right level for it, but uh... oh yeah, right on. Oh really? That could have been so much better. Uh, let's see what we got. Medium crop plate, medium crop plot. Let's uh, let's take the one and then we'll throw the other one out so that way it. Uh wastes off the uh the drop and that forces the drops to respawn so once one is gone then it can respawn another one in another location um because there can only be so many at a time now this is a pretty good metal node i think this is actually one of the better ones um and i don't want to take too much nettle from it with uh this pickaxe actually that's probably enough right there um, we're going to stop and we'll come back when we have a metal pickaxe to get the rest of the metal from that because the drastic difference of how much metal you get with a stone versus a metal pickaxe is uh, incredible. Um, and I'm going to get a little bit more wood because I'm going to need to be able to smelt stuff down. And uh, then let's take out that pig, get ourselves some hide. All right, there's one of those eggs I was talking about earlier. Uh, that's a Stegosaurus egg, and then over here we got a uh, Pariser egg. Uh, Parasers will not attack you, even if you steal their eggs, they just let them go. This Stego, however, will attack me once I take this egg. I am going to take it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this guy around the island, and then he'll eventually lose interest in me after I am uh, too far out of his way. So now that we've ran around the island, we're basically going to run back to our raft, drop this off inside one of the boxes that are there. Um, that stego will be halfway around the island and uh, he won't have an easy chance of getting to me. Or he might be on just the other side of this wall, but Either way, he won't get to me before I get this out of my inventory, and uh, I might... He'll probably lose interest, so... Let's test and see if he lost interest or not. Well, she lost interest or not. Definitely lost interest. I don't even see the stego anymore. Okay, and like I said, I'm going to steal eggs for sure. And uh, there it is. Uh, stealing eggs. Uh, just as easy as that. As long as you can outrun them, you're, you're golden. Um, on this island, for the most part, you're going to be able to outrun them. I wouldn't recommend stealing any Triceratops eggs unless you're prepared to go into the water to protect yourself. Uh, and the Bronto eggs, you want to make sure that you let them follow you to the other side of the island because their radius of uh, aggro is a lot larger than everything else. For obvious reasons, they're super huge. Uh, so we're going to take these eggs, we're going to bring them in, we're going to throw them inside the uh, preserving bin that I had made. I, uh, you don't actually need to do this, they do last a very long time without doing that. Uh, but this preserving bin, uh, as long as you got spark powder in there it'll uh, uh, smoke things and keep them for a lot longer like the uh, the timeline on these stem berries are almost 40 minutes uh, in there and out of there the timeline is uh, nine minutes so it, it's almost four times what it was um, it'll be better when we can finally get up to fridges and stuff like that but uh, I mean we gotta start somewhere right so 
preserving bins they're a must have anyway you need them to make jerky um i have some cooked meat in there already and uh some oil and spark powder and there's your jerky so uh, i got a couple of metal here already done uh i need i think i need five to make the smithy let's take a look uh we need five yes and then i need to go grab some stone yep there's the metal we'll take the wood and i'll take that out of there we'll turn that off for now and uh, let's make this smithy. And we got two levels. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put both of those into oxygen. Uh, oxygen goes up by 20s. Uh, I'm probably going to go up till I get to approximately 400 oxygen. Uh, it's not going to take much for levels wise. But uh, once I'm there, that's, that's good pretty much. I won't need to go any higher than that. Uh, I'm going to learn the wood pillar. So I'm going to need that for a special project later. Um, let's see. Do I have... Ooh, Ankylo Saddle. Perfect. I am going to need that. Uh, long Neck Rifle. Yes, please. Simple Ammo. Yes, please. I also want the Simple Bullet. I don't really care about the Simple Pistol. It's not my... Uh, weapon of choice uh, but the simple bullet you need to have if you want to do shotgun ammo later on so you may as well just unlock it now um, and I think that's it I'm uh, working towards a pteranodon saddle which uh, I think is level 38 there uh, so let's put this smithy down uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it uh, right here. Let's go until it just starts to go into the wall. Now, some of you may be wondering how come I have that option to go that close to the wall. It's because I did check one of the boxes on my options. Um, it's the collide box. I uh, can't remember what it's called. I will look into it and then make sure to let you know in the next video exactly which one it was. But... Uh, it uh, allows me to build things a lot closer to each other. Um, you can even build things on top of or inside of each other, um, like air conditioners. Uh, it makes it awesome for being able to put a lot of air conditioners in one room without having to worry about having the space to do it. Uh, but air conditioners are a thing of the past, man. Don't really need them. Uh, we're going to do everything we can to avoid having to use them. Actually, I think I have enough to get that metal pick. Let's double check that before I take off here because um, I want to go harvest some metal. And, you know, if I have enough metal right now to do a pick, I'm going to do it. So let's get some hide in here, some wood in here. We're going to need some fiber in here. Get that one piece of metal in. Perfect. There's our metal pick. That's a good start here. Take that metal pick and we'll replace this stone one and throw the stone one in here for now. We'll probably never use it again. I'll probably end up throwing it away, but for now we'll just put it in there. Uh, sometimes it is nice to have them because you can repair them as you go out in the wilderness. But the metal ones you have to actually go back to a smithy and repair them. Or yeah, in later maps I think there's a tool you can have with you so you can repair them. But uh yeah, we don't have that option, so unfortunately, every time we have to repair it, we'll have to come back here. So depending on how far out we go to go and get metal and stuff and what we're using, if we're using it, if we're going out far, we're probably going to end up taking it in Kylo, so it won't matter. We won't need to repair the pick. But uh, for right now, it'll last a long time before we need it. We need to fix it. All right, uh, we're going to have to wait for this Stago to get out of the way because I don't want to be hitting him by accident and getting into a fight here. Um, last thing I want to do right now, actually. I'm going to keep an eye on him. Ooh, that was close. Just stay over there. You keep your tail over there. You keep your head over there. Now, I also got to watch out because I'm going to get a lot more metal from this. I've already gotten 131 metal, and you're going to encumber real fast. I won't even be able to collect this whole thing. So, 
like I said, drastic difference on how much metal you can get, especially from a, a prime node like that one. And let's go finish harvesting that node. Um, that'll get us a lot of metal to start with, but there is a lot more metal on this island. Um, it's a grind to get it. I will try to do it mostly at night so that we don't have to spend so much time during the day wasting uh, to get it. For now, I gotta get some, just get started. I'm gonna get this other metal node that's over here. Where was that? Uh, fish farm. Biggest part of this. There it is, right by this Bronto. It's actually two nodes here. These are not prime nodes, they're just decent metal nodes. You can also get a lot of metal from some other locations. Um, you can get a fair bit of metal from the uh, small smooth rocks by the rivers there. They're actually called river rocks. Uh, and a little bit of metal from any other rock, but those three are the best. The prime metal, that metal node, and then those river rocks. Let's go back, get this metal smelting down, and uh, see if we can't get ourselves the rest of our uh, metal tools. Maybe a pike, crossbow. And uh, then we'll start working towards a long neck and some ammunition. And then we can really have some fun. All right, let's get some wood in here and get this uh, metal started. And then uh, we'll start uh, collecting a little bit more trees. We're going to go up here. Oops. Wrong game. Uh, we're going to go up here and we're going to put some railings around the outside. We're gonna place a bunch of crop pro crop plots, uh, some small ones, make narcota narco berries, uh, and uh, maybe one of each of the other ones. I want to have like maybe three narco berries, and then one of each of the other ones, and then I want to have one of each of the veg, which will be medium crop plots. Uh, I did get a few free crop plots from that one drop before we came across, right there. Some three, some uh, small ones. Um, I don't think I have the crop plots learned. No, I don't. So I'm going to learn the, cr the the small crop plot. I don't need to learn the medium because I got a blueprint for that. So that's going to save my engrams. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get that stuff made so we can get it up there. I need to make, I need to make some railings. Uh, I'm going to have to unlock that engram as well. Uh, where are the wood railings? There they are. And so that means we need to go and harvest a lot more wood while we wait for this metal to cook down. Let's go over to that other little small island there that's across from our base and uh, claim those three trees. Um, and we'll collect a bunch of that. We'll collect all that stone. We'll clear that island there and uh, get that note at the same time and see if we can't get ourselves um, up a couple more levels here. Gonna eat these berries first. Fill up my health. Alright, let's uh go ahead and clear all these trees, then we'll clear all these rocks. Well, actually, let's get the note first. That's gonna give us a couple levels. Uh hyena dawn. Nice. It's an interesting dino. Well, interesting uh, tame that you can get and uh, that got us one level so we're gonna go ahead and put that into uh, oxygen again I'm not worried about uh, engrams we'll look at that later we'll see how much we unlocked and then move forward because like I said I do want to tame a uh, Tranodon today and uh, that means we're going to have to unlock the trend on saddle. That way we can start flying around. We can go back and forth to the main island there. And then that's going to give me the opportunity to get that one dino that I really want to get. All right. This island is cleared out. Let's uh, not waste this experience buff. Let's get right back over to the, uh, the main herbivore island there and uh, murder some dinos so we can get a bunch more experience. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of advantage here, and I'm going to try and take out 
uh, that Stegosaurus from the raft. Now, I think I need a few more arrows than what I have, so let's see what I got in this box. Must be the other box. Come here. Alright. Uh, arrows. I need that, I need that, and... Aha! Four. Okay, so I need more thatch, but... That's fine. Um... Hmm. Not sure I have enough to take this guy out. All right, there we go. Okay, so that uh, probably got us maybe two levels. It'd be nice if it was. That was only one level, but that's okay. It's a level nonetheless. Uh, let's go with that. And I'm going to need a lot more uh, arrows because I just used all of those up, which means I'm going to need a bunch of thatch. So let's get that. And I got a couple of prime meat here. So what I want to do is go ahead and go right back to the base there so I can cook off this prime. I lost my campfire in that ordeal, but uh, of all the things I could have lost, that was probably the cheapest. So, All right, we got a bunch of metal. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do about uh, making ourselves the rest of these metal tools that we want. Um... Yeah, we can make ourselves a pike. We can make ourselves the hatchet, the crossbow. And we can make ourselves a sickle. And that's going to make it a little easier for us to get fiber, which would be nice. And then we just need to get ourselves a bunch more metal. And then we can get ourselves the gun. But for now, this is really all I need. Um, I no longer need these spears, but I'll just hold on to them for now. Because there's no point wasting them. I'll take this hatchet down. And crossbow is going to go in place of the bow. Bow's about to break anyway. And sickle can just uh, can go in my inventory because I, I need to go pick up a bunch of fiber. And we're going to go ahead and throw those both in there. And I need to grab some wood and get that cooking right away. Uh, problem with uh, Prime is it has a very short shelf life uh, and you need to get it cooked off or in a dino to feed uh, as soon as possible um, it literally only has like a three minute spoil timer and I've already wasted half of that just getting it back here but they don't take long to cook so it's all good all right there those are cooked and their spoil timer are uh, it's now 45 minutes and we're going to throw it in here, and its spoil timer is like seven and a half hours, but it's actually going to turn into jerky similar to this. And jerky spoil timer in your inventory is like days. Actually, in that case, it's months. Oh, wait. Day. It's a day. Almost two days, actually. Which, uh, that's not bad. That's two days real time. 
Um, with all of those tools made, let's go get ourselves a Pteranodon. We can just go with this 50. Uh, it's just a matter of getting from point A to point B. We'll go ahead, we'll get this crossbow out. It's got the trank arrows attached to it. Two shots to the face, one shot to the face. Okay, one shot to the face and he's down and that's it. All right, we'll go ahead and throw some rotten or raw meat in here. And uh, I'm gonna go and pick some narcotic bear, narco berries and uh, then we're gonna tame this guy. All right, guys, while well, this uh, Tranodon is finishing up here, I'm just gonna go over the uh, uh, the the productivity of the day, which actually was quite a good day again. Um, it didn't seem as productive as the last one. Oh, there it is right now. All right, what do we want to call this guy? Um, hmm. You know what? Let's call him Terry. Terry the Tranodon. There we go. Terry the Tranodon. Perfect. All right, Terry. You're going to follow me back home. Um, but like I was saying, with uh, with us getting a Tranodon today, which is a nice, uh, nice step in the right direction, um... We can uh, go ahead and uh, finish off this day, this video here. Uh, we're going to mark that now as a really good day, uh, uh, a good uh, a good second day, I guess. Uh, we didn't do a lot of uh, craziness, but we did finish off that house. We got it set and ready to go. We got all of our metal tools. We got ourselves a crossbow. We got ourselves a pike. Um, we got ourselves a sickle and we're almost on our way to getting a um, long neck rifle uh, We got our first tame. We got Terry here and uh, It's uh, freezing out here. So we're gonna call it a night and uh, We'll see you guys in the next one uh, Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and uh, you can follow me on Twitter at tundra games yt